Um, I think what makes Z Ultimate Melon Park the most unique is the fact that the environment here is really warm and it's a really big sense of community for the parents, the kids, and the instructors. And it's just really inviting for everybody to come into. I think the top three things that uh, your child will learn at our studio, we have basic principles that we teach here and it covers respect, discipline, and self-control. And I think that those three things are, do encompass uh, just good principles in general for any child to become a successful adult. To see if your child wants to commit, you can most certainly come and try out a class. Um, and you can try it out with our instructor, uh, Sensei Molly, and she will do a little test run with your child and they can see, usually it's a pretty fast click if they know they like it or they don't. And it's like a 20 minute lesson, it's a lot of fun. And right then and there you can decide whether you like it or not without having to pay any money. Uh, we create a sense of community in a lot of different ways, actually. We have a monthly events for the kids to come to. It's called Ninja Movie Night, and they can come once a month every Friday, and uh, we gather all the kids. It's really cheap. The parents just drop them off, go on their date night, and we just hang out with the kids and watch a movie for the night with them. Um, also, we have holiday parties for friends, family, and our students, and it's a really good time just to connect with all the kids and their parents and their family and friends uh, during the holidays. I think that martial arts helps children uh, in the fact that it provides a sense of values for the kids, not only physical aspects of the, the art, but also just the emotional values that a child needs to become successful as a person and it teaches them how to respect one another as well as authority figures such as their teachers or their parents um, as well and also it um, enables them to get out their physical energy and it provides a healthy lifestyle for them. Weapons training, uh, we offer, it's not a requirement for advancement to the next belt, but a lot of students like to try it just because weapons are super cool, let's be honest. Um, we do private lessons with weapons training, and I think you get a total of 10 classes. Uh, you can choose any weapons you want. There's sword, bow staff, spears, nunchucks. We have a huge variety, and uh, you would work with either Sensei Molly or myself, and we would take you in a class no bigger than like five students and we would show you various forms and techniques with those weapons. Honestly, I think that when you're starting karate, you can pick it up at any age. You could be an adult, you could be three years old. We have a huge range of students at this dojo, and it really depends on the person or the child. Uh, we have three-year-olds that are incredibly coordinated and incredibly focused. Uh, we usually like to wait till they're potty trained would be ideal. Um, but usually around ages six to ten, we get a lot of students starting up for the first time. Um, it's just a good age to channel their coordination for the art. I started Kempo actually Kind of randomly, my parents put me in a bunch of uh, girly sports when I was little and I just one day came up to them and said, I want to do karate. And uh, we went into Kempo Karate because it has a very well-rounded system in terms of uh, physical focus. It's not just hand-to-hand uh, hand -hand combat, it's not just weapons, it's not just ground fighting. It has a pretty big variety of covering all the bases and angles of martial arts. It depends on whether uh, it's a group class or a private lesson. 
for group classes, we have anywhere from about 10 to 25. And then for private lessons, there's no more than five per instructor. So they're pretty small. depends on their focus ability and if they work better in a group setting or a private setting. So if they're more timid or shy at first, I'd say getting them warmed up to the idea of coming into classes. Private lessons would be just a good transitional um, aspect of uh, karate. But if they want to get more hands-on training with other students, I think that group lessons are a great practice in terms of uh, training with other kids and being able to have contact uh, because after all, martial arts does involve contact as in sparring. Uh, yeah, we have a lot of, we do cardio warm-ups for family classes, and then we, we cover the same material that we would in a regular group class. Uh, I do think that family uh, classes are a great way to bond with the children and it's really cute to see families in together with their parents and their kids and they all work together. But yeah, we covered a lot of the same stuff as we would in private or group classes for any of the age groups. The only thing you need to prepare for is wearing comfortable clothing, but that's about it. Just be ready to move. Uh, you can schedule a birthday class pretty much any time. It'd be ideal if we had um, maybe a few weeks notice, but the earlier the better, definitely. The birthday classes involve a lot of karate games. We teach them the basic punches, kicks, blocks, etc. And as for the amount of kids, we usually accept between 10 to 20, uh, depending on how many instructors we have. If you miss one class, as long as you call 24 hours in advance, you can reschedule that class anytime. Um, unfortunately, if you don't call within 24 hours, uh, that class counts as towards uh, what you've paid for for your private lessons or for your group class. Uh, it really varies with the student and how fast they learn, how fast they pick up the material, but for the length of time it takes to get a black belt, it can be anywhere from about four to seven years. To move from one color belt to the next, you need to learn the required material, the kicks, the punches, the katas, and the techniques. Um, along with that, you need to be in a certain physical condition to be able to do the exercises that are required of you, and that's about it. The best thing about being a black belt, I'd say, is my favorite part is teaching honestly. I love working with the kids and showing them how to be confident in defending yourself and passing that on to them. I think that martial arts teaches us to be disciplined and hardworking in what we do. It's taught me a lot about that personally, as well as self-control. In a lot of situations, um, I think that the values of martial arts can be instilled in pretty much any situation, whether it's an altercation on the schoolyard, or whether it's an altercation as an adult, or even just learning patience in general and respect for other human beings.